Hello everyone, Zeno and Zimmer here, welcome back to Let's Play, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Last time, well, we got busted out. And this time, well, this is the plan. A terrible, terrible plan. Let's get our equipment and blast away to those bridge and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. <sighs> I'm coming to. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Good. Get to the equipment room, grab what you need, and get we'll going. We'll you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. We still have the garage equipment. Let's go. And then like them, we actually have to pick up our gear. I believe it's in one of these lockers, or both of them. Okay, it's in that one. So, we have to re-equip ourselves. We equip, we, we re-equip ourselves for battle. Uh, where is it? Use regex. Right, we need to change Agenda Paul's blade. Ever do? Let's go. Right, we also bear. gonna work. Okay. Uh, if you might as well put this in because I've just realized I could probably could have done what I planned to do. If since we since this is the part we have to bring. Ready. What can I do? I'm here. It might also be best to take off Bendix blaster and Castafet's blaster and put them on Carf. Of course, we don't need to do that, but if you're not so sure about Carf and you don't have any of our great blasters, it might be worth it. Just want to do that before I forget. This is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. I don't know why to tell us that, Candorus. We want to go to the bridge. The hangar we'll get to later. Now let's slice them up. Let's make this quick. Say goodbye to the Sith. Down you go! Droid upgrades. Uh, playing's not too bad. The assault droid. The droid 
does not respond to you. But if we go to this, let's slice in. Access commands, nothing. Barracks one, barracks two, barracks three. Droid maintenance, danger. Active experimental assault droid. Let's do that. Yeah, that thing's going on a rampage. Oof. You yeah, almost feel bad for those guys. But we can't really do anything else, I don't believe. Yeah, no. This is a nightmare for that. Why? Yeah, but bigger problems. Time to rumble. <laughs> Leave the soul droid last. You cannot win. Why? If you leave it alive, it'll continue roaming around and all that. And it is actually slightly useful to let it roam around. Red, I might as well say, yeah, no, we will not be returning, so scavenge away. Time to rumble! How'd you like that? Large locker. Advanced repair kit, which right now is useless. And Jura Steel Armor. Hmm. We haven't seen that before. And we can't buy it. No, don't bother. I'll go through here, here. Yeah. All right, we've got our, we've got our Jedi. Down you go. Meanwhile, I'm just looting because I don't fear them. I don't believe these guys drop lightsabers at all. This by having good whiz is excellent. Really car. Oh, 
Open the way to the bridge. And now there's two ways to get into the bridge. Okay. And this is the slow way. Oh wait, we don't have the air suits. Oh, so we can't do it this way. I've forgotten what the air suits are. So, uh... Yeah. You see a lot of them about. But... Ah, might be in there. Oh, the force fights weak now! Right, we also have to... How do you like that? Yeah, there's a lot of fire for the power band. Power band. Grenades. Going around. They're not in there. Oh well. I need a little, every little helps. We got a lot of All right, we do need to find the suits. If I was quite sure there's two ways to get to get around. And unless I missed it in the armory. Which is which is possible. Possible. Yes we did. God damn it. Items received. <sighs> Slap out on. So we are making good time, so we should be fine. But this is where things get ready. A little. What can I do? Hmm? I don't know what's going on with them. It's a nice set piece, though. It also lets you kind of see how fast Star ships actually are. Compared to how you see them in games like Star Wars Starfire, Star Wars Starfire, and Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Which is unique. Slow walk. The good news we're back in the battle. Lovely good news was the last new suits in this game. And in the second game, it's not as bad as it's like eh. Good, finally. Let's make this quick. Uh, 
yeah, this sometimes happens, and I don't know why. And it's not always happens. I've had a time where one of them has had their weapons, and I've had a time where both of them had the weapons. So it's like. Finally? We open up. And... We go into the bridge. Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, so... Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender. A chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. There. <sighs> oh my god, this is chaos. How many grenades are throwing? They've never thrown this many grenades. <laughs> Deal with Karath later. <laughs> and he got stunned. This is great. You shall fall. Oof. Karth. Karth. The Admiral. He's still alive. It's time to finish this. Forget him, Karth. We've got here before Malagard. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. <laughs> Must tell you. <laughs> Must tell you something. <laughs> Come closer. You didn't know. Whenever, whenever you look at those you thought were your friends. Ah! I said it. it can't be true. Can it? No, 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 it, it can't. Damn you, Saul. Damn you. What does he say, Carf? Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Carf, it's not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. What are you two talking about? About what's going on? Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth. I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. She's right, Karth. This isn't the time. We can get into this after we escape. Yeah, I'll trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything to both of you, I promise. And... This is a special Sith Assassin p pistol. So, uh, giving that to Karf. I am giving you that because that because you're probably one of the best to utilize it. Yeah, no matter what you do with this, yeah, you can. Uh, for... Because we are going to be fighting our way out. Come on. Quicker. Now let's 
go. And we've got Seth waiting for us. Too bad for them. Let's get moving. Don't really have much time. Well, in game, we have as much time as we want. In universe, we don't have much time. So, let's try and rush through. Let's rush. We got some dark Jedi in a way. Let's go. These guys will not really drop anything useful, useful so don't, don't worry, they'll only drop grenades. Which means oh right the Sith card. I'll level up Carf when we're going down to the hangar because we're gonna need that level. Skills That was it? Wow. Sorry, Carf, that was a perfect level. It's Candorus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Let's go. Oof. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to try it, but oh, well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Let's quickly open these containers. Because these containers have some credits, which is kind of useful. But that is what we want the med packs. They will not be able to heal themselves from the pain. Oh, we've got Dark Jedi Master. We're now ranking up. Dark Jedi Master can sometimes drop remains, but they don't always. What to do? It's really, really good. Because sometimes they can drop some really expensive items. Or they can drop stimulants. Battle stimulants. Or the advanced pass battle stimulants, whatever they're called. Dark Jedi. Deal with the Dark Jedi first because they're the bigger friends. There you go. Take out the Sith Captain. Captain. Because he has with me. There's a chance to drop that. It's not guaranteed, but hey. I'd rather not have the chance of being disabled. Well, he did drop remains. Which, I mean, slightly bad, but hey. I'd rather not to worry. Let's use some med packs because we're only one new healed. And we open the glass door. And we come down here. We're almost at the Ebon Hawk. Ah, <sighs> no more interference is shit. Darth Malak. <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. 
I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? Reunion? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? And the reveal. We were Revan. I want to talk about the reveal later, because there's a lot more dialogue I'll be coming. Because it's a bit of a point of contention with some people. You cannot hide from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord and know that I have taken your place. No. This is some type of trick. A Sith lie! You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity, and turned you against your own followers. No. I don't believe you, Ma. You must have seen flashes of your old life in your dreams, Revan. Memories bubbling up to the surface. Surely you must remember the battle in which you were captured. Do you mean... I'm... really... your... Master. Once I served you, Revan. But I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When that Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. Why did you betray? 
your master. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. Why wouldn't the Jedi simply kill him? The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. How you survived the final battle is a mystery to me. Perhaps you should ask Bastila. After all, she was part of the Jedi strike team that captured you. Yes. I've seen Bastila in my visions. She was there. That's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan. To capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. Then why don't I remember being Revan? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. You've been lying to me this whole time, Bastila. I wanted to tell you, but the Council forbid it. They were afraid you might return to the dark side if you discovered your real identity. But now you know the truth, Revan. The Council has failed in their attempt to make you their pawn. The will of a Sith Lord is not so easily manipulated. Why not just let me die? The Jedi hold all life sacred, even that of a Sith Lord. I could not just let you die, Revan, not if it was possible to save you. Bastila hides the truth behind noble words, Revan. The Jedi needed the memories buried deep in your wounded mind. There was no other way to bring them out. They had to keep you alive. But why program me with another identity? We couldn't simply restore your true identity. Revan was too dangerous. But locked inside your mind was information the Republic needed. The secrets of the Starforge. The Council created an identity for you. A soldier under my command. Your subconscious memories were supposed to lead me to the Starforge. There was no other way to get the information. They made you their puppet, Revan. And Bastila was the handler pulling your strings. Why you, Bastila? Why did the Council choose you? When I used my Force powers to keep you alive on that bridge, it created our bond. I convinced the Council that I could use that bond to draw out your memories and lead us to the Starforge. Tell the truth, Bastila. You wanted to taste the dark side for yourself. You knew the only way the Council would permit you to explore the Sith's power was through Revan's lost memories. No. I wanted to help you, Revan. I thought this mission would redeem you, that it would atone for your past crimes. How else could you be saved? But what if I remembered who I really was? You had to be healed so I could try and draw out the secrets of the Starforge. It was our only hope of stopping the Sith. It was a risk the Council chose to take. I understand, Bastila. You had no other choice. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Triumph, Malak? You seem to forget that I'm still alive. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice as it was meant to be. Oof. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Malak. Oh, Alright. 
A phone wants to fight, not dance around. Let's move. This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! <laughs> The door and we can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Blah, blah, Basla. We have to help her. Basla doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Basla sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on. And we no longer have Basta in the party. She's gone. Her equipment is still with us though. I believe, yeah, her lightsaber is here. How it is? I don't know. And we're being followed. I don't know why they did this. It's not fun. We've got one more to go. I might as well I just cut see play. Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Ah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. We have to go back for Bastila. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said? Or should I? I don't care what Malik said. I'm not Darf Revan. I'm Bisper Tanstari. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... This is big. Do you do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Small bits, a few strange dreams and visions. That's all. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more. Then I don't think there's a problem. 
It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. But I'm not the Dark Lord anymore. I'm Visper Tan Starry. I'm one of you. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What do you think, Candorus? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. You won't ban me, will you, T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. You say that, but HK. <laughs> What about you, Jolie? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. Juhani does, does have dialogue. It just isn't flagged, which is annoying. But, honestly, we'll be talking to everyone in the next episode. About this, so really, we'll get here what the dialogue is roughly. What do you have to say, HK47? Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a. A homing system that is restoring it, Master. So, this is the stimuli you were waiting for? Explanation. I believe so, Master. I was unaware of my homing system until it had been activated. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... Upon returning to my original master. You mean... Revan? Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, master. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. Well, Karf, you heard everyone else. Will you stand with me? Against Malak. Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I won't let you down, Karf. I promise. I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. How do you think I feel? This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. 
But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. And we move to Coravin, because if we look at, oh yeah, that happens. If we look at the map, well, we can see Dantooine, it's gone. It's not destroyed completely, but it might as well be. Yeah, this, we'll have enough time to talk to everyone about their feelings, so let's we'll start with Juhani. How can you possibly be Raven, the one? The Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Revan, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The woman who saved me, who I... I have come to care for, could never go completely to the dark side. I regret any of the harm. I may have caused. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. You will do fine, Juhani. That is especially meaningful, coming from you. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. Yeah, the Jedi ever saved her? Is the player. And oh, it hurts. How may I be of. What? Well, if you're playing Dark Side, because it's like. I want to protect you. How do you feel about. How do you feel about me being Revan? talk about me being Revan. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? So it doesn't bother you at all? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, he doesn't... Your choice. Okay. That might be because I hadn't done the Jogi quest. I'll get to that soon. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Electri, restoring some of your memory. Commentary. That is unnecessary now, Master. I have been returned to you and my memory core is now fully functional. Statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. He isn't joking when saying it will eventually, but that's not in this game. Statement. However, I will say, we, if you have not restored up to the Mandalorian memory, you cannot get any of the upgrades that HK has. Get them now. Now, get them before the Leviathan. Because once the Leviathan has happened, you can't get them. So, you belong to Revan, originally? Statement. Yes, Master. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. 
I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. She isn't joking. Heart killer droids are made to kill Jedi. And HK is very effective at it. It's probably better if it worked out this way. Observation. You may be right, Master. This way we are reunited, and neither of us has suffered permanent termination. <laughs> what can you tell me of Malik? Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. So, why the meat bag references? Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. So, Malik was the original meatbag. I like that idea. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. Am I much like the revenue new? Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life that is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Do you know anything about the Star Forge? Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Star Forge's secrets. That'll be all, HK47. As you desire, Master. Signing off. And we get to know why he calls everyone Meatbag. Because Revan is childish as hell. And it's hilarious. Got something on your mind, do you? Uh, okay, so he doesn't have any dialogue for it. Oh, yeah. We, oh, I, I do have stuff to talk about his wife, but that'll be done another episode. Now we finally talk to Carf, and then we'll talk. Yes, what's on your mind? We need to talk about me being Darth Revan. If you're ready to talk, then yes, so am I. And? I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my, for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. Why can't you? I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice. And there won't be any turning back. And he isn't joking. And if I make the wrong choice? Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. Now, I can talk about the controversial thing about the player character, Revan. Other than a thing that I'm surprised no one talks about, how there is no can canonical name that they go by when they're under their new identity. So, it's very clear that they might actually be called Revan under their new identity. So this means Revan in Star Wars is a common name, which is hilarious, but it's also like, what? But now to the thing that is a little bit controversial, which is Revan, Revan's gender. The devs wanted Revan to be female. LucasArts wanted him, wanted Revan to be male. In the comics, Revan, well, from as much as I can find, because most people say, Revan is male and most likely is straight, but there isn't anything saying that he is, isn't, by and just is 
more attracted to personalities. And this is kind of what sparked flame flame war, flame a flame flame war, a flame war, for or harsh debate because considering Juhani is your only gay option, you could tell why people got mad. Honestly, I. I think it makes more sense, sense, as we'll see later, when I show off some of the male dialogue. I think it makes a bit more sense for Revan to be male. But if I had the choice, I still say... Because I'll just say this right now. Basila doesn't die. And canonically, Revan ends up with Basila. I still think... Neil Revan does end up with Bastila, but he is bisexual. And it's just, no one in this group is his type. Or, in the case of Karth, I think Karth is straight. I think Candorous is someone that uh, Revan just would not be interested in. And that the other characters he sees, we see, or either, in the case of Jolie, probably not interested in Revan, even if they were bisexual. Or people he sees as mental figures. But, that is just something I wanted to talk about. It's a small little thing. So, next time, on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, we'll actually be heading to Yavin again. If I've timed things right, we've only got... No, actually. Actually, just one more thing we need to do. But, yeah. Next time, we will be doing... We will be going to Yavin. Off screen, I will be doing the Joggy quest. So, I'll see you guys then. Xeno and Zuma, signing out. If it loads quickly, because it's going to save, because it's in new state. All right. Before we say. You want to not bring Juhani out until you've seen this cutscene if you've gone through enough of her dialogue trees. You mean Malik? You're Ching para chiska mule tunala kuyami juz chikata na patoga ya hulki koko gala jimji. Shakji locha wana wama? Kava volpa mulji gumana? Kinchun chishinen chene kung manaman atota? Haki jukrata bola shui chongatong? Chongkin no bunka mule ra kung kile? Kung kile no ba? Tong hai tuam jiji jong lumpa ni ta poe tikitu dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut ka chi chu ita dundonga ka chi kun ita hodonga i king kuno ba mulera chi kun has involved you tong abu sha umina wonga kun bis king balemura 
Johnny Young Tun Chichi y la aduana. Capa por Pambuche y Cumana. Capa de un paco, palia, muca pata, ponana chacu y con cono tolpa da bongwale, candona gugu chuchut. Capa de un cupilio botenia. I'll go check out. We tam boragatong tong abogsha umino wanga kumbis king balemuraya. Now, truly, see you guys next episode. Zinizima signing out.